It's Traffic Thursday. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Traffic Jam Thursday. <laughs> it's the one day out of the week that everybody shows up because it's the day before their weekend. So everybody wants to make a good showing at the at the job, you know, this is when they get their... Okay. They're starting a Monday. on a positive note. It, but, but get get this. Sunday was Easter, right? Monday, there was nobody out here. It was clear. Tuesday, a little more. Yesterday, more. And Thursday, the worst. Tomorrow, it's not going to be so bad. Watch. Anyway. All right. It's sunny Up out. Good. Sunny. It's 46. Not too bad. Felt like fall, but now it feels like it's starting to get a little it bit warmer. It does feel like fall out here. It kind of yeah. feels like, like you want to go and pick some pumpkins. Let's go something. pick a pumpkin. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we're on our way to the Lincoln Tunnel. Yeah. And I brought some snacks with us for today. Yay. So we have kind of a long day again. And we ran out of snacks yesterday. We ran out of snacks yesterday. I made, um, uh, popcorn for us. All right. And I didn't burn it. You didn't? No, I don't think so. I don't we think so. See. It didn't smell like you burned it. Just the bag. That bag is always like that, though. You never lived in a dorm room, right? No. Oh. Well, Every yes, time I, I did. Every popcorn, I think. Oh, you did? Yeah, the University of Oregon. My, uh, one year there. Every time I make popcorn, I, when I smell it, yeah, I think that. of, like, living in a dorm room and you'd like be doing your work all of a sudden and the fire alarm would go on and they'd have to evacuate the entire building because some <laughs> they had burned their popcorn. Oh yeah, I remember that. And the stench would just like, just stay in the air for a long time. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't burn it. It's a science to making popcorn because you're not even supposed to use the popcorn button. That's what it says on the actual bag. Yeah. Don't use the popcorn button on your microwave. Right. This we did burn it possible. in there. With Remember you had to tell Angela that we burned popcorn? That's what the smell well, yeah, was. Yeah, I burned. I've, I've been guilty of burning plenty of popcorn bags. Anyway, I lost another pound. Really? What are you at now? I'm not telling everybody oh, my sorry. weight. But I am, um, let's see. So I am 106 pounds away from my goal. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. 106 more pounds to go. Yay! We're on our way to check out a piece by um, an artist called Oleg. She's one of my um, one of my favorite artists because she uses yarn. She crochets um, like huge, elaborate pieces. Let me see if I can show you some of her pictures on Instagram. Uh, like recently, she covered a bus. I never saw that bus. You never saw the bus. But the Fargo ad, you know how it's crocheted? Well, she made that piece and she covered an entire bus. Well, there we go, now we're focusing. Um, she's also covered like fences and here's another piece that she did. So um, she makes like fence pieces and here's another big one. So it's all made out of yarn, and she just sits in a little, here's another one, another shot. So they're huge. I mean, like, really elaborate, right? Right. So she, her latest piece, or one of the more recent ones she did, is, um, is outside of the Metropolitan Museum. Mm. Metropolitan Pavilion. She um, covered a statue and a column. And she's trying to raise money for um, um, housing for LGBT youth in Nigeria. 
and she'll pro she provides like the number and stuff to donate. Mm. Anyway, so it's like a little um, funds awareness, raising awareness thing. So we're gonna go check it out, see if it's still there, right? Yep. It's at the corner of 16th or 18th and 6th Avenue. Yeah. We can't find it. She's she's obviously got the wrong street. Right. This is seventh between Seventh and Avenue of the Americas, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're on 18th. So I mean, I guess start looking for it. No. That building up there looks more like what the picture is like the big stone building. That's well, great, but is there a statue in front of it? 135 Housing Works. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Yeah. One thirty-five. Could you go up there or not? It's obviously one of these big buildings, right? Because it's a huge statue. So. It's a huge statue. Does it look like it could be inside of the building? Oh, that's out. That's outside. Where the hell is this thing? Metropolitan Pavilion Events and Products. I didn't even see the statue. Must be inside. Text to aid and donate $10. Provide housing to asylum seekers fleeting. Maybe it's inside of the building. Probably. Go inside. It was around this corner. Because I wonder if that's where... Because remember we stood here for the vegetarian festival. If that's what that is. It was inside there. They have some sort of like a... Oh. Yeah, we never made it into the vegetarian festival. So we don't know what's out in there. Yeah. So maybe it's in there. Because it's an event center. So maybe it's the same event center that the vegetarian festival was held at. Probably. Inside the Metropolitan Pavilion. Oh, Alright. A... So we gotta get to Dexter's. That's a bummer. Yeah, it is a bummer. I don't like it when they put the stuff inside. No. That's what do they call it? Street art. Should be outside. Oh yeah, it says here Metropolitan Pavilion. Oh, where, 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 where? Here? Here. So it must be inside of this building. This is Metropolitan Pavilion here. Unless the statues... Yeah, I mean, be on the lookout for the statue. Interesting. Is it the statues in Russia? The statue is in Russia. So I'm looking at her old pictures on Instagram, and there was one from a long, long time ago, last year, where she made a. Come on. You should tat. You should write on it. This statue's in Russia. <laughs> yeah. Isn't this statue in Russia? Here. This is the same exact statue. Yeah. Okay, same exact piece, except it's in Russia. So she she put up she she wanted posted to a picture of one of her old pieces. Right to promote this thing that she's doing because it was also this piece was for um international peace day and whatever, equal rights gay rights whatever in russia and she may have been in the metropolitan museum uh, pavilion, pavilion which is why it I mean, geotagged her there but anyway it's not here it's not in new york city <laughs> it's damn russia <laughs> Russia. Mystery no, solved. So no. After a major disappointment with Oleg, now we're going to see what Nick Walker's up to. Yeah. This is his new piece. Looks like he's all done. Focus. So and look, there's a little, there's a little painting on this, on this thing. Yeah. Uh, Go take it. Wow, look at the detail on that, huh? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. We gotta come back through here and get like yes, a we do, close Julia. up on it. Yes, we do. All these canes over here. Yes, we do, Julia. Yes, we do. Unfortunately, we've got like a hell of a long day. And that's 
Well, tomorrow is much later. This thing is, I really love this thing. Yeah. And then there's that sign that says, nobody, not even my partner, can touch my body if I don't want to. Which one? That one? There's a little sign, new sign up there. And this is a Josh Hill. This one. Josh Hill. What it says. Oh. Ready? Whoa. Oh. Anyway, this thing is pretty cool. Look at the detail on this thing. This is Joe. Looks like jo I thought Josh Hill. Jo 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 Joe Hill. Joe Hill. Pretty cool. Galleon. Change it up a little bit. Okay. Tomorrow we'll go back to Sun Dried Tomato. I like the sun-dried tomato better. It has more flavor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Whole grain with chive, or scallion, as they call it here. If you say chive here, they don't understand what you're saying. Is there a difference no. between chive and scallion? Did we talk about this before? Well, I think scallion is the larger cut. Chive is the, like, really small, thin... Like chive is the powdered onion. Oh. Yeah. You know I mean? Oh. Uh, well, I think upstate if you see. Mm -hmm. Upstate, okay. it's always chive. Oh yeah. But I think technically it's the way you cut it. So if you cut it really small to the point where you can shake it out of a shaker, that's chive. If it's larger like this, like I cut it to put in soup, mm -hmm. it's scallion. So I'm actually making scallion soup. Anyway, it's really good. Why does everybody go so slow? Because it's a huge bump. And we have <laughs> as usual oh. something like we're eating the breakfast time. Oh my Light. god. <laughs> Why does everybody go over this thing so slow? <laughs> boom 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 boom. <laughs> Man. First of all. We shouldn't have been chasing an Oleg that's actually in Russia. Second of all, we should have pulled over at the fire hydrant when there was right there so we could go out and adequately vlog the Nick Walker that was up there. We'll see it tomorrow. We'll stop there tomorrow. Third of we have all, less going on tomorrow. At the bottom below the Nick Walker on a piece of wood was like some weird little painting thing that was like stapled up there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It could have been somebody. It could have been nothing. It could have been somebody. But we won't know now because we didn't stop to investigate it. Chances are it won't be there tomorrow. Either that or it's going to be tagged to heck. Or you're right, it's not going to be there tomorrow. Mm. Kurt claims that he just saw the lead singer of Cars. Yeah, I don't know. You see? No. And on this side. That there, guy right there? Yeah. Right there. You want to say him? I don't know. I don't know what you want to say. That guy, he says this guy. Yeah. Coming up here. Hey Rick! Guy. Hey Rick! <laughs> you got him? Yeah. Good luck, bro! <laughs> you get it? Yeah. Awesome. Cool! <laughs> it was hard to see him on camera. Yeah. Did, but did you get him? Yeah, I got him. Awesome! So, what's his name? Rick. Rick Ocasek. This guy. Right. Can you, like, you can't, like, take a picture of that, huh, and, like, send it to me? No, I don't know. Man. This guy. Focus. Yeah. He's, he totally, uh, heard his name. Yeah, do you hear? Yeah. Turned and smiled and everything. Yeah. It's dinner time. What's for dinner today, mister? It's sausage, chicken, rice, and, and salad. My gigantic water. And your gigantic water. I miss the days where I could drink soda. Yeah, I don't know why you're not drinking soda. Because it packs on like an extra really? 200 calories, something like that. Huh, I don't know. Does this make me look old? 
Because I gotta have my ice cream before I go to bed. Gotta have my ice cream before I go to bed. The answer is as Cartoon Network comes to life at Atlantis. Only this summer, only Atlantis. How many of those cones do we still have left? Um, I have lost in a box. I probably know I still feel half full. Yeah. We got a box at Costco and there were like how many in there? Like 40 or something? Yeah. Crazy. Well, it's time for bed, huh? Yeah, I gotta play all that stuff up and go to bed. What's the hundred miles? Seven three? No, seven. Yeah. All right, well. Good dream. You had it. You had a good day, Esther. How was that? Okay. It wasn't was. I felt more tired, but it wasn't as long as yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday was really long. Yeah. But I felt more tired today. Mm-hmm. What do you I think our, we're just, it's like catching up with us or something. Yeah. Oh, hi, hey. Pink. Okay, well, see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.